Good day investors, uh, this topic of this video will be how to set up your quick trade. First of all, I'm going to go to my locking uh, ID that I've uh, been received by email. And I'm going to actually enter it. And then I'm going to select my password I've uh, been given as well. And I'm going to say save password today and I'm going to lock in. You can see you need to be on the internet to physically lock into this uh, quick trade uh, live trading platform. And um, if I'm locked in, I'm going to actually show you how to start up, set up your quick trade just to get started and start viewing some shares and uh, charting. Please take note of you need to be online to do this. It's going to open like this. And as you can see, I'm sitting already in a trade to the bottom position. And uh, this is the format it's going to be. So this is what you're going to see. This is your watch list. This is the chart of the share. This is your order page. And this is your open positions on your system. I'm just going to break it a bit down here so you can have a better view. So first of all, I'm going to have a lot of shares here. If I want to add an instrument, I just right click. And add an instrument. Uh, instrument means what share I want to look at. I'm going to use the shortcut codes. First of all, I'm going to add Woolies. I know the code. Very important. Please select Woolies CFDJC folders only. So I'm going to select that. And you can see Woolies is on the top. So I can go to the symbols and it will take it alphabetically for me. So I'm going to add another few here quickly just to show you how it's been done. Make sure you shop right. Remember ShopRite CFDJSE, select again, add instrument, uh, MTN, MTN CFDJSE, just double click on the, on the shares name, it's actually very really user friendly, Vodacom, double click on it, and I'm going to add the latest one called LCH, now remember, sorry, LHC, you will see the shares indicate, indication it. So it will tell you pharmaceutical, LHC, CFD, JC. Those are the ones I want to go and look at. Now, if I go to uh, example Willys and I select Willys, first of all, what I will see here is a chart of Willys. And uh, I can actually go and change this chart. So what's the best thing to do to change your chart? You see this F here? This is for full screen. So let's go to the full screen here. So the first block you're going to see here on Willys is basically a one minute and I want to say give me a 15 minute chart. Last, uh, last traded prices, 10 days, I want to change it to a five day view. So you can actually go and zoom in and zoom in like drawing. Those are drawing tools that you can go and use for in uh, case you want to go and look at support and resistance lines. Add. Um, you can add indicators on the chart. I'll do that in the next session. And if you select more, you can go and take, the, for example, the grid line off. Or you can go and take uh, the volumes off if you want to. So I'm going to go to exit screen again here. And as you can see, uh, this is the, the, the movement of the share. If I want to go and change, if I'm not familiar with the candlesticks, as you can see here, the red and uh, green lines, let me go and zoom in here. Using the plus. If I'm not familiar with that, I can just right click on the chart and I can go to style and say give me a line chart. And on a line chart, I can go and view in the last 10 days of line chart or movement of this specific share. And at the bottom, you can actually see your time period as well. So uh, there's a lot of things that you can modify on this uh, system if you want to, but keep with the basics. Interval stick, that means as the trade uh, should trade it, minute. As the share is moving every minute, every five minutes, the share or the chart will be updated for you uh, on the system. So there's shortcut keys here, or you can go to the F file and physically open it as well. The block on the right side, this is your ordering block. Now, very important, especially in the beginning. Uh, all you need to do is, on the block here, anywhere, just click right on your mouse pad. Click view. And go to margin view. Press tab on your keyboard. Tab, T-A-B. 
And what will happen here is this is the margin requirements you're going to see here. Now that will tell you if you want to buy some amount of certain amount of shares, that is the margin you need to take out of your account. So I'm going to put 50 shares there. Press tab, and it's going to tell me, Jar, if you want to buy 50 shares on CFDs of Willys, you're going to pay for that 50 shares a um, thousand one hundred seven rand out of your account as a deposit. If you go short, you're going to press tab again. And you'll basically see the amount that you're going to pay there 1863 rand to go short in the specific trade. So, in the next few videos, I will explain to you how the overlooking outlay would be. If you want to delete a share, just go and right click on any share, and the share you want to go remove, remove instrument. Select that one, remove instrument. Uh, that one I'm going to remove, I don't want to look at it. Remove instrument. UK, I don't want to look at it now. Remove instrument. So here you can actually just go and add again what kind of shares you want to go and look at your put in your portfolio. I just want to add Barclays Bank, Equity, Financials, Barclays Bank, the first one for JSE. Double select it. I'm happy. Now what you're going to see is very simple. You know what's this? The share name, CFD. Price change for that moment. Last traded price is 150 Rand 51 cents. A number of shares traded, bits and asks. Now, very important bits means that is buyers willing to pay or buy the share at a certain price, and the sellers uh, or the ask they are willing to sell it at a certain price. So, please keep track of this. Um, and in the next video, you will be introduced how to look at your system further on.